students in my previous video as i have explained here i am to clear your doubt regarding in the word problem if we have to find hcf or lcm so here after reading the question if you understand that the answer is asking something uh, or that value or the result is the smaller number when compared to the numbers given in the question then we have to find hcf and if the answer would be a larger number when compared to the two values given in the question then it is lcm so when we read this question an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade the two groups are to march are, are to match in the same number of columns in the same number of columns that means not 32 neither 616 but somewhere the answer is lying between uh, would be less than 32 or 616 uh, less than 616 so whenever your question uh, implies that that the answer would be a number smaller than 32 or and 616 that is the values given in the question when the answer is smaller that and that time we have to find hcf so what is the maximum number of columns in which they can march so obviously we have to find hcf in this question hcf of 616 and 32 i hope this uh, concept is clear to everyone that when we have to apply hcf and when we have to find lcm in my previous question of on word problem i have uh, explained a word problem pertaining to lcm that uh, and it will uh, clear your uh, uh, doubt for better understanding you can refer my previous video so here <clears throat> hcf so how we can write 616 in prime factor form so obviously uh, we know 616 to be prime factorized in this fashion 2 3 the 6 2 at the 16 then further it can be factored by 2 2 1 2 2 5 10 2 4 18 then 2 7 14 2 7 14 and then it is 11 7 the 77 and here both are uh, prime okay so 616 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 11 in this way it can be written and 32 is uh, nothing but 32 is uh, nothing but product of 2 only how many times might be 5 times so let's check it uh, 2 ones are 2 2 6 are 12 then 2 eights are 16 2 fours are 8 2 two twos are Four. So, when two is multiplied five times, two into two into two into two into two, we get thirty-two. Two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen, sixteen to the thirty-two. Okay. So, how we find HCF? HCF is nothing but we only take the common values. Okay. So, HCF of six hundred sixteen and thirty-two would be here. We have two. Here we have two. So that will be uh, written at once. Then next again we have two again we have two so that will be written at once. Then again, let's check. Here we have two here we have two so again we will write two. But here we have seven do we have seven over here also? No. So we will not count this seven. Eleven do we have eleven here? No. So we will not count this. And again these uh, this two do we have any other two for the above number? No. So we will not count this. Do we have another two? No. so we don't have pair for this 2 this 2 this 7 this 11 so we will not write these numbers for hcf and multiplying which we get 8 so hcf of uh, the given question is 8 and so is the answer for the given question thank you and have a nice day